simple pleasures. You are ready then. In that case, let's head to Palaka Stan. No doubt Vitra is waiting for us. Says that's like that drops an Aether Current quest, but we we're missing a couple, but I don't see any on the map. Yeah. You mean quests? Yeah. You mean quests Aether Current? Yeah. Probably, probably because there's still a lot more we got to do. On the I mean, if you remember in Shadowbringers, we were level 80 for a good amount of time before we actually finished it. So it may be the same with uh, Endwalker. Yeah, because I'm almost, I'm almost level ninety. I'm, I'm like two levels right away. My heart sank as watching Masia yeah. run. I got scared. I was like, no, no more. Give me a break. <laughs> I literally said in my mind, like, I I literally just said in my mind, like, Estinian, if you're going to drop in now, if you're going to drop in, now would be a good time. Oh, shit. Sorry, Vitra. I landed on your foot. <laughs> like, that ass, that is exactly, like, word for word what was going through my mind. Hold on. I gotta do something cool. Oh, shit. I really never started it. Fair. Don't worry. She just paid him. <laughs> okay, now uh, we can start. <clears throat> Loose frame frame rate, no VA. No VA. <clears throat> Rest easy, for all is well here. Young Matsya returned with the babe safe in his arms. Owing to a warm bed, the girl had already begun to regain her strength. Less joyously received was word of the mother and father's fate, as well as that of their transformed leader. How many children of Sam there must be opposed to this calamity? Mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. Every death another void that can never be filled. We who survived them must carry the weight of their memory as we strive to regain a semblance of what we lost. Karazav and Mevan's babe as a child of Thabnair as well. I thank you for returning her safe to us. Oh, most great and merciful worm. I have not the words to express my gratitude. They say that were it not for you, brave Matsya and the child would have been lost to us forever. Long had I heard the rumor that a mighty dragon had forged a pact a friendship with the Satrap, but never would I have expected such a kind and gentle soul. Truth in part, but not in whole. I am Vitra, and for years uncounted hath this isle served as mine abode. I have ruled over a satrap, but I am one as my loyal servant. Are my ears to be believed? You were the true satrap all along. Oh, Auntie! Auntie Nidhana! Nidhana? <laughs> what are you doing here? I was wondering if she was okay. Thank God she is. I heard from the Radiant that you had gone to help the people of Palaka stand in their need of in their time of need. Other way around, dumbass. Read. In their time of need. <laughs> and so I and several of my colleagues from the great work came to offer our services. The alchemists have already brewed up some potions for Mevin's daughter. But enough about us. You and your role are the far greater enigma. If you were the great, if you were the <coughs> true satrap all along, could it be that young Vashan was created to serve as your emissary? 
Thou didst suspect the boy was but a sickly Sibilac. A rumor has circulated for many years around the high crucible that our most skilled alchemists were once commissioned by the Satrap's family in secret to fashion a mammoth indistinguishable from a living boy. Looking up Varshan with that knowledge, I simply put two and two together. I was not alone in drawing this conclusion, but like me, they no doubt recognized that the Satrap was using the simulacrum to work more closely with his people and decided not to press the issue. I had always assumed one of Ahiwan's associates was manipulating it from afar, though the truth is indeed far more surprising. It is an honor to meet you in the flesh, Master Vitra. P pray allow me to express my gratitude. If you had not believed in and given unto us your scales, I do not know where we would be. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. Twas thou and thy fellow alchemist that fashioned the means to unmake the towers. You were the saviors not only of Razatha, but the star. Far too kind you are, Master Vitra. But the star yet wants for salvation. Once more will my colleagues and I commit the knowledge and resources at our disposal to the mission of aiding the people in this, their darkest hour. It would seem this place is in good hands. Would ret I would return to see how Razadhan fares. What will you do, Sire? I worry for the survivors we met at Perusa. Shall we pay them a visit before making our way back? In that case, might I ask a favor? Nothing too burdensome, I promise. This way. Anything for you, Auntie? As long as you stay alive, if you die, I'm, I'm checking out. I'm checking if out. If you die or get kidnapped again, I swear to God. Or just a bit longer, I'd say. In the meantime, I was hoping I might ask you a few questions. The red sky, these terrible beasts, what in the name of the sisters is happening here in Thavnair? The end yeah, of the world. Don't worry, it's just the end of days. Oh my. The apocalypse. That's rather a lot to take in. It would seem the situation is even more grave than we suspected. Thank you, friend. My colleagues and I will use your knowledge to see if it can further our own research. And with that, here we are. A pipe, a pot of, a pot of piping hot chai. Brew, brew. Wow, I wish I could read. Brewed from my <laughs> own secret recipe of spices and tea leaves, together with hearty helpings of rich milk and purest sugar. I was doing that thing where my brain was processing the paragraph faster than I could talk. <laughs> I've made enough for everyone in the village. Might I trouble you to deliver a few cups? The drink has medicinal properties, then. Not in the least. The ingredients are quite ordinary. It's so very tasty, though, and has a way of lifting the spirits. The spicy aroma and distinctive sweetness of chai is a simple, everyday pleasure on our island. Sometimes the best medicine is the simplest. A lovely sentiment, Nitana. By all means, allow us to assist. While you lot distrib <coughs> distribute hot beverages, I'll do a sweep for errant beasts to slay. A far less arduous task, no doubt. When you finish, look for me at the wakeful. Oh, yes, wakeful. The wakeful Torana. Okay, bye. Look at them all lazing about, knowing full well the beast might strike again at any moment. Do they not realize their lives are in danger? Well, I, for one, intend to survive. I'm too young to die. Yes, I'll leave this island behind if I must. But, but where would I go? Is anywhere safe these days? Shut up Don't and be take a bitch. It. Hot chai. A mug of piping hot chai brewed from oranic, aromatic tea leaves flavored with Nihana's secret blend of herbs and spices. Then mixed with rich milk. Mmm, that sounds good. A cup of chai? Can't you see I have more important things to worry about? No. Drink, you no. bitch! <laughs> no, no, you're right. 
It is precisely in times like these that we must strive to remain calm and steady. I do believe I'll visit the Elder and see what needs to be done. If there's any way I can aid my village and my friends, I will do it. Oh, sorry, I walked in the fire. Don't walk in the fire. That one isn't the minion fire. That one will actually burn you, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I just want to be left alone. My best friend and I, we fled the village together. One of the beasts took him, and... And it was all I could do to run. All the while, I could hear this monstrous voice screaming my name. Have some tea. Have some tea. Call Who the fuck this. just flew in? Oh, it's Jura. Hmm? This is for me? Uh, we used to drink chai together often. Shared stories over steaming cups after a hard day's work. Thank you, friend. The pain may never pass, but I must press on all the same. For his memory, and for we who must remember. I don't see him. What are you talking about? I saw a car. I don't know many people that have the car in pink text. God damn, those are some big air traps. Yeah. Hmm? Wait, I know you. You were the one who saved us from those beasts back at the temple. Were it not for you, well, let's not even think about that. At times like this, we mustn't dwell on what might have been, but look to the future. But what future awaits us? How can Razadhan hope to recover from this? Most of my friends are gone, and I don't know where to return. Don't focus on that. Here, have some nice tea. Ease your nerves. A cup of chai? Well, if you insist. Uh, that that aroma has a way of clearing the mind. Come to think of it, we've faced our sh fair share of trials in the past as well. And no matter how hard the times, we've always come together as people united. One day at a time. One step at a time. For that is all any of us can do. Yes, back to work. Once I finish this cut. Thank you. Ah, there's some plus quests. We're... Oh yeah, there's yeah. one right up here. Thank you for delivering the chai. Did it help did it help to lift the villager spirits? That is heartening to hear indeed. The final days show no signs of abating, but that is all the more reason that we must try to keep our composure. Our lives have been forever changed. The people we have lost will never return to us. These tragedies will long weigh on our hearts. Surrender but a recognition, for it is only in acceptance that we find the strength to move forward. If you uh, not like be running over auntie, I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Close. Alright. <sighs> no one else better die. I've got my Angie face prepared. <laughs> As you have finished your deliveries, might I talk with you for a moment? I was curious to know, what has become of Mevin and Karasov's remains? Oh, thank you, friend. Surely they will be able to rest peacefully by each other's side. I and the peoples of Palaka stand will perform the rites as soon as we are able. As for the child, it will not be easy for her growing up without her parents, but I promise to do what I can. Once she is able to eat solid food, the fish I catch will help nourish her. Well, we finished delivering the chai. I do believe everyone has a piping hot cup. I could almost be believe there's a magic at work. How their tension fades with every sip. Let us pray that Palakistan has seen the last of those transformations, at least for now. They are still at risk, as every village in Savnair like as not. <coughs> still, I trust we can leave this place in the care of our friends from the ra <coughs> from the Radiant and the High Crucible. Shall we return to Rasatan? By all means, do not let us keep you further. They, there are still many who have need of your wisdom and strength to deliver them from this terrible calamity. And I will do what I can as well. I will bring rations and supplies from Ak Akiali. We, we have plenty to spare. Then let us find Astinian and be on our way. Where did he wander off to again? The Wakeful Torana. Near the bridge to Ratzat Han, as I recall. Very well, then. <coughs> we can fly. Why 
is it always this mount? I don't know. You wanna get in the car? Nope. Okay. I got my own car. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, well, he's dead. Al Alpino told me everything. Full glad am I to hear the people are safe. Likewise, you will be pleased to know I found no evidence of lingering beasts in the jungle and ruin. It would seem you finish off the last of them. Trying times yet lie ahead for the people of Fafnir. Fortunately, they have a wise and benevolent satrap to, to shepherd them through. Speaking of which, I received word from Thancred not a short while ago. He awaits our return to the city on Alzadal's <coughs> path. Come. Master. Uh. Oh, shit. Oh. Two. Two? Yeah, that has oh. less people. Yoki doki. See you safe. Given the skies, it is all too easy to fear the worst. I am pleased to report that we've succeeded in quelling the threat here in the city. The beasts have all been felled, and the citizens are safe for now. I've also heard from the Radiant that an important proclamation will be made in the city square, though they said no more than that. Might you have any idea what this is about? So Vitro is finally coming out from behind the curtain. I suppose we too should hear what he has to say. To Megaduda, then. But before that, it would appear that word of the assembly has not yet reached all the citizens. If anyone along the way seems unaware, we best enlighten them. That's dumb. Are all the beasts all gone? Uh, I've been. Is there an NPC there? Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! It took that long for for it to load for me. Are the beasts all gone? I've been hiding and I'm too scared to go out and look. It's okay. A big fuck off dragon. Dragon will save you. Dragon. Dragon. Uh, oh, that's a relief. I thought one of those beasts was going to eat me. I wonder where Vershawn is. He's the slowest runner. I hope he got away. He could be with the other people from the palace. Maybe I'll see him in the square. Durgan. Leave me be, please! I swear to you, my flesh tastes absolutely terrible! Oh gods, what are you doing scaring me like that? If we're not quiet, those beasts will find us. The square, you say? But that's where the Satrap was killed. With my very eyes, I saw him crushed in that creature's maw. So many lives lost, such terrible carnage. And you say there is someone else who would lead Rasat Han in his stead? Whoever they are, if they say anything to sully the memory of our beloved Satrap, I'll make them regret it. Yeah, and you were hiding behind a fucking light pole. I'd like to see you do something. This might be voiced over. 
Okay, I just got a feeling about it. Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah. Oh, without a doubt. <clears throat> Look, someone's coming. Oh shit, don't have auto advance on. Fuck. People of Razatan, it warms my heart to see so many brave, resilient souls before me. Today, I would share with you a great revelation. But before I do, I must make a humble request. Do not be alarmed, nor avert your eyes. See the one I unveil for who he is, and know that he means you no harm. Very well. I dare say it can't do worse than the horrors we've already seen. And Petra shows up. Oh god, it's worse! <laughs> god, it's a literal fucking dragon! If I am hearing this right, you were the satrap all along? Vashan! I mean... Master Vitra... The, the, does your divine eye really see all? Nay, child. While my eye hath borne witness to the whole of our nation's history, to its future, Friends and loved ones have been taken from us. I, too, have lost my closest confidence. Ahewan loved this land and served it with dignity till his dying breath. A nobler satrap there will never be. For so long, I lacked the courage to face you. I will not easily earn your trust. This I know. And yet, I cannot sit idly by and abandon Rats at harm to her fate. A font of boundless vibrancy, this jewel of the ocean. Since time immemorial, has she glittered with every color imaginable. To this dragon, slumbering in his dark lair, t'was a mesmerizing sight. 
and one that brought no end of joy to my heart. This calamity has stolen too much from you already, yet so long as you live, the light of Ramzat Han will never be extinguished. I pray you let me watch over it, over you. I do not know you, Dragon, but I thank you for speaking the truth to us. As divinities, both Manusha and Riga once joined together, so too do I believe that hand in hand, we can overcome this ordeal and welcome an era of peace. sight that would have surely brought a smile to his ale's face. Indeed. Oh, what? What are you guys doing here? Excuse me, but I must speak with the Sartrap at once. You're looking at him. Father! You have suffered dearly of late, yet you must endeavor to look beyond these losses to the future you yet have. On behalf of the Forum of Charlian, I come with a proposal by which you, the people of Radzat Han, might be saved. I say again, I must speak with your satrap. I beseech you, take me to him with all possible haste. I am satrap here. Speak thy proposal. All present shall hear and judge. If I have given offense, then I apologize. First, allow me to share with you what knowledge we have of the phenomenon responsible for your woes. The final days. It is an affliction of stagnancy and rot, sown into the currents of the star. Though the first prominent manifestation was here, in Thavner, it will invariably spread to every corner of the world. The Forum was forewarned of this apocalypse several centuries ago. Thenceforth, my predecessors sought to prepare for the end times in the only conceivable fashion, by securing a means of escape. Escape the star? What madness is this? It is by no means madness. With the coming of the seventh umbral calamity, the true nature of the Red Moon, Dalamud, was revealed. That it was an artificial construct of ancient Alag. But what of the Silver Moon? This celestial satellite is yet another technological marvel fashioned and maintained by ancient allies. A ship that will sail the heavens and deliver our people from destruction. And by our people, I speak not only of Charlian. We mean to save every man, woman, and child it is within our power to save. Including you, our dear friends of Radzat Han. Recent events necessitate adjustments be made, and quickly, but we can and will escort you safely to the moon. Long has thy forum been allies to Thavnir. 
I trust thou dost not extend this offer lightly. Yet I wonder, is this truly the way? Is there a future to be built for us beyond this star? Our father deemed the last bastion of hope. It is for that very reason I come before you and your people to answer any and all of your questions, to offer my assurances and allay your fears. Though, if you wish the best for your people, I advise you to render your decision swiftly. Until then, heed the warning of these brave heroes. Guard your hearts against fear and despair, for it is within such fertile soil that the seeds of blasphemy find purchase. Remain calm and attend to your daily tasks. I shall return anon. Do as you say, Master Vitra. We believe in you. Oh, you're still here. What a relief. Nidana, what's the matter? Has something happened at Palika's stand? Oh, no, not that I know of. I just hope to hear your thoughts on a theory of mine. All who undergo the transformation are drained of their ether, yes? What is it then that gives these beasts the strength to carry on as they do? Hmm. Logically, they must be drawing upon an alternate form of vital energy. That put me in mind of our earlier conversation, when I tried to explain the essence which many confuse with ether. Akasha, yes, I remember. The unseen gift bestowed from on high. An energy influenced solely by emotion. Yes, yes. In this instance, Negative One set Akasha into motion, thereby infusing the beasts with vitality. I posit this as the mechanism by which the beasts are born and sustained. Ah, do you still have that flower? Oh, shit. If we accept that it once shone bright by drawing upon Akasha, influenced by the thoughts of those nearby, then fear, terror, despair, negative emotions so powerful as to suffocate it, permeated the air in this place. We must be very careful. The forces which drive the final days may be beyond our ability to perceive. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you like that. At any rate, I will continue my research into Akasha. Do temper your expectations, however. There are sadly few detailed studies upon which I may draw. Formulating a new theory as you have is itself no small feat. I wish you well in your endeavors and pray you take care. Thank you. You stay safe as well, yes? Till next we meet.
And we will meet again. Totally forgotten about Akasha. And so did I. As far as we have come, and after all the horrors we have seen, there is still so much we do not know about the final days. Could it be as Nidana said? That the cause of this phenomenon is beyond our comprehension? And if so, are we powerless to forestall it? Yeah.